Hi guys. Today I'm going to show you how you're going to take the papers that you made and make them into a picture by using collage. Collage is when you cut pieces out and then glue them onto a sheet of paper and make something. So I'm going to show you how we do that. We are going to be making flowers in the style of Eric Carle's collage. And so I have all my pieces cut out. Uh, all, these are all my pattern pieces. I have my paper. I have my, um, my paper that I'm gonna glue onto. Three additional materials you are going to need are a glue stick, a pencil, and a scissors. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the center of our flower. So take the one that says center, okay? And then pick out the color that you want for your center. So I am going to pick this bluish one for my center. And guys, see how I have my area all organized? Okay, I threw away all my garbage so it's not in the way. All right, so then I'm gonna take my center and I'm gonna find a nice pretty piece like right here. I like underneath that. Um, I like the way it looks. So I'm gonna trace around my pattern piece. Okay, and you can't see it really well on camera, but I can see the line really. I can see it. So I'm gonna take my scissors and then I'm gonna follow that line around. And I am cutting out the center of my flower. So you don't wanna put it in the center. You don't wanna put it way up at the top because you won't have any room for your petals. You kinda of want it towards the top, but make sure that your petals are gonna fit around it. So I would say right about there is a good spot. So I'm gonna flip it around, put lots of, lots and lots of glue on it. If you have that purple glue, make sure that purple glue covers the entire thing. And then I am going to glue that on. Okay. The next thing I need to decide is my stem, because you're gonna make this first look like a lollipop. Okay, so here's my stem. And I'm gonna do my stem this greenish color. You can do it any color you want. Now, my stem if, is way too long for this paper. So I'm going to just kind of tear it off right there. So this is about how big my stem should be. And you know what, it fits on there either way. I'm gonna put it right to the edge. There we go. And so I don't, won't have to cut part of it because down here it's already, I'm just gonna use the edge. And then I'm gonna come up and cut out the other side. Use my glue stick again. This time I'm gonna do it on my scrap paper here on the side and I'm gonna put my stem on. Let's put the flat part going up. There we go. Next thing I need to decide is color or colors I'm going to use for my petal. And you know what? I think I'm gonna use both of these colors. You can use one color, you can use two colors, but I'm gonna need a whole bunch of these petals to go around that center. So in order to do that, I am going to actually fold this up. And look how I'm gonna fold it. I'm gonna fold it up just a little bit of the edge so that that'll fit. And then I'm gonna turn it around and I'm gonna fold it up again. And then I'm gonna turn it around again and I'm gonna keep folding it up and I'm gonna, it makes a fan fold. This is a fan fold. Look what happens. This is what it folds like, okay? So that when I take my petal, I'm gonna put it, fit it right on there. I'm going to trace it. And then instead of cutting out one, Petal. I'm going to cut a whole bunch at once. Oh, you know what? I'm going to fold it 
and then I can cut out even more. If you have a ton that you, if you have a really skinny petal, you might wanna fold it again so you get a whole bunch. And look what happens. I have a whole bunch of petals, just a whole bunch of them. So I'm gonna start gluing those on. You know what, since I'm gonna do two different colors, I'm gonna leave us. Actually, I'm gonna... just going to do the same thing. I'm going to fan fold and I'm just going to add another little petal of my own making. You don't have to do this. I could be completely fine here or if you want to, you can make a little bit of a petal. Thing I can do if I want to. I could make seeds for the center out of this red. There's all kinds of things I could do. Last thing you're going to do is your leaf. You could have done that with your stem if you wanted to. Again, you put it on whatever color you want to do your leaf. You trace around, cut out, and glue. And if you get done early, you could add grass, you could add a sun, you could add a little um, bug flying in the air, but everything has to be made out of your paper. Have fun with this.